hello everyone welcome back to new video so in this video we are going to discuss how can we create this painter app using react js canvas and tailwind css so you as you can see we have this color picker eraser and brush thickness tool as you can see i am able to draw and also i am able to erase everything that i draw on my screen so let's get started as you can see i have set up to create react app in my vs code and now i am going to create two component uh, for side toolbar or for canvas so let me quickly create this functional component yeah and now in my app.js i'm going to import these two component now what i am going to do i am going to go to my site toolbar and i will copy the html part from my demo project and i am going to paste it uh, over here yeah as you can see i pasted the component also you can see i have used this font awesome icon library which i already uh, set up like uh, install in my package.json and free solid svg icon for the icons so let me quickly import to both the libraries yeah everything works fine so here we already uh, we have icons and uh, uh, tools that we are using inside bar now same for canvas preview.jsx file uh, here we have canvas uh, this is the canvas uh, where we can draw and here uh, I'm going to define the cursor variable now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a custom hook in my under my source folder which is going to contain the function and state that i am going to use in my uh, like i'm going to use and store my variable like what is the selected color or like uh, every canvas properties and this is also going to the function component and here i, I will return uh, two object first object going to contain the states like uh, uh, states and second object going to contain the function and i declare this reference variable using use ref canvas reference and these three states eraser is eraser uh, that is going to uh, store whether brush is selected or eraser second is selected color and other uh, third one is thickness uh, what is the thickness of prose and same uh, i am going to copy the function uh, that will going to change this value these are simple functions which is gonna update the values uh, inside it inside this and i will export this function and state as in my first variable so i generally follow this now in my app.js i'm going to import this file uh, first object and this second object and we'll pass this value in the respective component use paint let me do one thing let me rename the hook because uh conventionally all hooks start with use else it will give the error yeah, use paint custom hook and i will import this 
custom music notifying oh sorry i forgot to import uh, here it is yeah now i will pass this reference to canvas preview and function to the site toolbar because site toolbar going to handle everything like uh, functionalities similarly every state whatever i like whatever is stored in the states and handle function variable now in my site toolbar i'm going to uh use those props first i will ex like distract the props uh, first handle function i think uh, handle color the second to uh, function is handle brush whether brush there is a brush or not handle uh, eraser and the fourth one is handle thickness yeah so extracted from like distracted from the pro props and i will attach this function uh, to the particular input box or div so whenever i click on these uh, 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 these functions or like this div or button uh, particular function will call and update the state in my custom hook state is not defined my bad i forgot to import use state uh, here yeah let me refresh it cannot trade properties and of undefined where i am getting this error cannot read property of undefined uh, debugging i found i found the issue issue is with this extra comma we have here so after removing yeah everything works now as you can see uh, we have currently full width so i will give it a flex uh, so that uh, by default it is row and height to the full screen so that this border will get to the full screen now i will start writing the function for the canvas like what whenever i draw so first i will declare this init function which uh, i will call uh, whenever the canvas preview component like rendered so i will pass this function here and in use effect i will call that function so let me define my init function ctx so ctx is going to be the variable that can in the method that is available on the canvas that is context 2d it uh, basically retrieves the 2d rendering context of the canvas similarly i am going to use uh, another variable drawing in progress and initially values false so now inside my init function i will initialize the variable ctx uh, which is used to access the 2d rendering context of the canvas element and if uh, uh, now inside if if canvas reference uh, exist or uh, ctx uh, variable is exist i'm going to add event listener for the mouse related event like uh, the first one is this mouse move and like whenever i move the mouse uh, i will call the draw function similarly for mouse up and mouse out like uh, if i stop drawing or how my mouse cursor is out of the context i will call this uh, stop drawing function and uh, another one is this mouse down so it will handle the, uh, the draw function these two lines at the width and height of the canvas based on the window size and the line join property set to round we specify that the line should have round, rounded line joint so that it looks like continuous and i am going to define this function the first is stop drawing and inside my stop drawing function what i am going to do i am going to uh, make the variable false at drawing in progress so drawing in progress dot current 
is equal to false yeah So whenever I click, I will set the variable to true and I will set the coordinate, this coordinate, uh, let, last x, let me define it, uh, current initially it is 0, 0, last x, last y and on handle mouse down, I will set uh, this variable to the offset inner height and offset or like offset inner uh, width let me do it yeah and inside this draw function so i will check if uh this variable doesn't exist or if my progress drawing in progress is false i will return else i will start drawing first one is that ctx dot current dot begin path so it will start uh, uh, my drawing and like these are the function provided on the canvas you can play around this function by changing the property and uh, you will get like why i like what this function do yeah so draw function is uh done and i will define this use effect as well so whenever i change my this property uh this function uh this use effect will run and will change the property of my canvas so if either current thickness of eraser is changed state variable is changed I will going to update the style of that canvas so ctx dot current dot stock style is equal to current color so it will change the color of the stock and another one is this line width so whenever I change the thickness using this uh, selector so it will change the thickness of my brush Still, I'm not able to draw. Let me check quickly uh, what I am missing here. And it is this is fine. So, after debugging, I found this issue. I you used use state so it should be use effect yeah now i am able to draw on my canvas as you can see brush thickness is also working and this color property is also working only thing that is pending is this eraser mode so first i will uh, pass the eraser here is eraser and if it is it is eraser is true i will change the color of uh, uh, the dew based on what is active if this eraser is uh, true the color is pcv green else uh, this background color similarly for this uh, sorry uh, my bad one should be uh, without note now it's that now now it's time to handle uh, is eraser functionality so if my eraser mode is on i am going to set global composition property of the rendering context to destination out 
so basically it remove or erase the pixel from the canvas all these are uh, all these property are provided by html5 canvas so you can check out this property on their official website so thank you guys that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe the channel and give a thumbs up to the video